When you see the inside of a high-tech honeycomb panel, it's literally a homage to the bee's design. If you zoom in closer, the details get even more impressive. Each sheet of comb is double-sided. There are cells on both faces, and they're offset so that the walls don't line up perfectly back to back. That staggered stacking adds strength while keeping everything incredibly light. The axes of the cells are almost horizontal, but not quite. From the base of each cell to its open end, there's a small upward tilt, usually in the range of about 9 to 14 degrees. That little incline helps keep nectar and honey from running straight out. And research shows it also shifts some of the weight off the side walls and onto the shared central midwall, making the whole sheet more load-bearing. It's like the bees have designed a tiny, slanted bookshelf where every book helps hold up the shelf itself. The comb is also zoned like a city. Toward the center, you'll find worker brood cells, slightly smaller and tightly packed. Around those, there are often larger cells for drones, and here and there, dramatic queen cells that look like hanging peanuts where new queens are raised. Farther out and higher up, the bees store surplus honey. As seasons change, they'll refill, empty, and repurpose cells, constantly renovating their wax skyscraper. Even though the entire structure is made from something that can soften in the sun, in the controlled climate of the hive, it's stable enough to hold tens of thousands of bees, liters of honey, and their future brood all at once. But this miracle building doesn't last forever. In the wild, a bee colony living in a tree cavity might survive around six years on average before it dies out or moves on. When that happens, the bee's wax infrastructure gets recycled. Wax moths, beetles, rodents, and other scavengers move in and chew through the old comb, clearing out contaminants and making room for the next colony. It's nature's demolition crew. In managed hives, it's the beekeeper's job to play that role. The wooden frames that hold the comb might last a decade or more, but the comb itself slowly darkens and fills with old cocoons, spores, and chemical residues. Many modern beekeepers now aim to rotate out roughly a quarter of their comb each year so that no piece stays longer than three to five years.